In this lecture, I will show you how to align to a key object. First, let's see the normal behavior of aligning inside Photoshop. I will select all these rectangles and I will align them to the left. So Photoshop will align them with the farthest rectangle to the left, which is this one. Same if I align them to the right. It will align them with this rectangle since it's the farthest one to the right. The same concept is with top and bottom alignment. But for center alignment, whether vertically or horizontally, it will align them without any dependency of any object. It will just calculate the average distance among the objects. In Adobe Illustrator, you can choose a key object to align items with. Let me show you the same example inside Illustrator. I will select all these rectangles and to define a key object, I just need to click once on it. You will see a thick border around it. And you will find here in the align panel, it says align to a key object. Now when I align them to the left, it will be aligned with this key object. In Photoshop, there is no option like that, yet you can still align objects to a key object. Let me show you how. Let's say we want to make this rectangle as a key object. All what you need to do is to target it in the layers panel. I will use auto select to do that. Hold Ctrl and click on it to make a selection. And select all the layers you want to align. And let's align them to the left. So Photoshop will align all these selected layers with that layer. Not only that, but you can also align objects to just a selection. I will make a selection here. Select all the rectangles and align them to the left.